hi guys in this video tutorial today I'm going to show you how you can control your iOS which is your iPhone from your PC or from your laptop so first of all in order to do that uh, uh, you will have to go to your Play Store in the iPhone App Store and uh, once you go to the App Store then uh, you will have to search uh, for the a tool I mean a app you can see I have recorded it on my iPhone you can see you will have to search for quick support on your uh, app store then you will get a app with the name of team viewer quick support so you can download that you can see it's screen sharing there are other uh, apps also available but you will have to download only the team viewer quick support as you can see on the screen and you can see these are the new features are added by the uh, developer of the team viewer in this quick support and these are the screenshots and the previews you can see and let me show you like a uh, compatibility like on which version of the iOS it's compatible for you can see it require iOS 10 or the later one you can see what are the other I mean the version of the iOS is required to use this team viewer quick support so it's downloading so just wait for some time once it will download like once the download will complete uh, you will get a I mean app now I'm going to open this up it's downloaded now so once I open first of all you can allow for the notification or you can like you can just don't allow it's totally up to you and uh, then it will create your ID once you will open this app it will create your ID and uh, this is the ID is created you can see it's one one two zero seven seven nine one one eight this is the ID uh, which is created by the app which I have downloaded in my phone which is in my iPhone so once it will be done then you will have to uh, go to your uh, computer through which you want to control your iPhone right so what you will have to do here is let me show you you can uh, go uh, like you there is a program you will have to download it's a software it's a team viewer 14 how you can download that just go on the internet and uh, this is a website you will have to go to download the uh, software it's a teamviewer.com you can see it's teamviewer 14 is here so once you will go there right uh, there is a download option is coming up download for free for personal use so you can just click on this and uh, the setup will be downloaded or you can also uh, directly type uh, the URL which is start dot teamviewer.com you can see this one and it will start downloading directly you can see uh, it's asking for the partner ID once you will go on this so once you will uh, once I will type the partner ID like which is the partner ID should be uh, the ID which you uh, the device uh, on which you have installed the team viewer to connect like suppose I'm trying to connect uh, my uh, Apple phone so this is the ID which is generated by the team viewer quick support in my Apple phone so if you see uh, like the ID was one one two zero seven seven nine one one eight so once I click on this connect to the partner the same setup well we start downloading here you can see open team viewer 14 right so let me go to the team viewer setup now this is the team viewer 14 setup you can see it's coming up now right and you can see here connecting to the partner right so it's working on it so it will send a prompt that uh, uh, on your iPhone like once you will uh, provide this ID it will give you a prompt on your iPhone whether you want to allow for the quick su uh, remote support or not so 
uh, click on allow on your remote support like on your iPhone then it will give you this screen so now you can see here once you will uh, allow on your iPhone to have the remote access you can see uh, there is a prompt coming up your connection partner need to execute the following steps to start screen sharing the instruction show below are also being shown to your connection partner so the same screen coming up on my iPhone start broadcasting so let me click on this start broadcasting and let me select the team viewer or it's asking start broadcast yeah it's going to be connect now so it's done okay and uh, it's connected now you can also go on the dashboard you can see uh, my CPU uses my RAM my battery and now as it's connected so you can see the screen here at the screen sharing you can see the this device supports screen sharing only so you can share the screen only so whatever I will do on my iPhone it will show there so let me see let me show you you can see I'm just sliding my screen on my iPhone and it's coming up and uh, if I open Facebook or anything all the things will show on your computer also even if I do anything it will come up there so this is the way guy how you can connect your iPhone to your uh, PC and you can view your screen you can control the device but if I talk about as I as you saw here that uh, you have only the screen sharing permission so you cannot make any changes through your PC but yes uh, when it comes to the Android phone you can do that you can control your Android phone completely through your PC but you can only see the screen of the iPhone uh, by using this step so this is the way guy how you can control your device like uh, you can uh, see the screen sharing uh, of your iPhone through your laptop or through your PC so thank you so much for watching this video in the next video tutorial I am going to uh, show how you can uh, control your Android phone uh, which is your smartphone through your PC so you, you can keep in touch and you can subscribe the channel and uh, please share this video to the other people also thank you